up, y'all? It's honey. <laughs> smooch. <laughs> the one and only. Right. Yeah. We are smooch loves honey. Okay, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh. My bad, I'm looking at the, the, the screen is right But Anyway, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so you can always keep be up to date on when we upload in a new video and whatever it is that we got going on at that moment of time. Okay, so we are trying this new this new like live stream thing. It's not new, it's it's new to us. We this is our first time doing it. So yeah. If y'all watching, leave like some comments. Just in case like the lighting off or we can't Easy. hear you or whatever the case may be. So we can know for next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um we got season three, right? And it's about to be fire. Season three about to be fire. We got some new celebrities. Celebrities. We the celebrities. They the celebrities. Okay. <laughs> we got some new celebrities uh, that's gonna be popping through on the podcast, and it's about to be dope. It's gonna be real funny. We're gonna kick it off with um, Kodak first, and yeah, cause we nine five four all day, all, every day. Everywhere I go, at, I'm gonna make sure I represent for my peeps. Not really for my peeps, but <laughs> and you gotta make sure you subscribe, like, comment, so you can get a notification when we post another video. Yeah, right. That way. Okay. I don't know, but this this weekend, well, it's been well. This week has been a very interesting week. It's been a uh, very long, a very interesting long fucking yeah. week. Barely getting any sleep. Yeah. And yeah, I was running. Um, I was up for twenty four hours, and I was like, oh my god, I feel like I'm about to crash. I feel like I'm about to die. I ain't die y'all clearly because I'm here. Oh, but I was yeah. I was up for forty eight. I was up for twenty four. Not all 48 hours, but I probably was running off for like three hours of sleep. I was running off for no hours of sleep. Because after we had done did the video with Kodak, I was still up because I was trying to edit his video. And then I had to catch the flight, early morning flight to come to Atlanta. And when I got here, I still didn't go to sleep. Because we had something to do. <laughs> we had shit to do, so. I forgot whatever it was, but we had something to do. But last night, I was I was not out last night. Me too. Me too. Yeah, after how next week you already being tired. Oh, okay. I ain't hear nothing. I needed that um that sleep, that rest. I'm tired. Well, if, you know, if you if you know me, then you know how I am when I get sleepy. So I be tired. Or I'm not feeling so. I be I go to get me like my whole attitude, everything just changes. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. That's how she was last night. Mm -hmm. She was like. Aggravated, she was irritated, she was friend was bothered, y'all. Friends was friend was real bothered. Yeah, because I was very young. The people was aggravated me, so I was very young. But the title here is High Value. What is the audacity of high value men? Girl, it's just first of all, I think they not all. I think some of the men are taking that high value shit. Like they, it's like doing something to their head, like it's fucking with their brain or something. Like how the girls be when they get their BBLs. Yeah, like how they be when they get their BBLs, they go to fucking with their head mm -hmm. and they go to doing too much. Mm -hmm. So I think that title is fucking with some of these guys' head. Mm -hmm. Because how about okay, you feel like you're a high value man, okay, whatever. But just because you're a high value man, that don't mean you can handle a bitch any kind of way. Why? Just I, because I just, am what the people want. Okay, that don't you are by the dozens. Okay, I that don't mean that. That don't mean you can handle bitch any kind of way. Cause you wouldn't want somebody handle you any kind of way. Hmm. So just because you're a high value man of a, you got this status, like you feel like you could just do what the fuck you want to do. <laughs> pretty basically, much. Basically, pretty much. Yeah, and nah. I ain't going for that. I ain't going for that. So basically, what's 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 going on out here is you got high value men that, from what my understanding of a high value man is, or for what they told me it was, was a man that one he has money and a lot of it, and then two like he knows his words, he knows uh, his strengths, his weaknesses. He's independent, meaning I don't need a woman to do nothing for me, but I would, you know, I, I would like for you to do it, but I don't need you to do it. 
Um, you know, he's self-made. He got all his own, like, whatever. That's the definition of it. And that's what a bad bitch is, apparently, too. So, you got a lot of high-value men that just feel like they can treat you like a... They can pick you up and put you down when you feel like it. And then, when you're not that girl, because you have women who do actually go for that. Like, they... Like, I really want to be messed up with you, so therefore, I'm going to just play my role. And then you have women who, like, yeah, no, I ain't really on that. I don't care how high value you is. You're not about to treat me like um the uh, little penny on the floor that everybody just walk past and don't ever pick up. You're not about to treat me like that. So then they feel like, well, what's your problem? Because I'm high value, so you should deal with whatever it is that I'm throwing out there at you. And I don't understand why you feel why you feel like that. Like, who the fuck are you? I'm the high value man that everybody wants. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't give a fuck about that. Like, no, fuck no. If I wouldn't let one of these regular niggas do me like that, why would I let you do because me? Because I am high value. I baby, don't not. care. I don't care. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just telling you. What it is. You still bleed red at the end of the day, just like that regular nigga. I don't care. Huh? I don't care. So basically what you're saying is it don't matter how much money he got, you're not letting nobody. No, I don't care how much money you got. You're not finna handle me any kind of way. You're not finna fuck with me when you feel like it on your time. No. It don't work like that. It don't. No, yeah, no, it don't work like that. Bitch, fuck out of here. Because my husband called coming and I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And if he wanna pick me up, put me up. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> he wanna pick you up and put you down. Pick I'm you just playing. Nah, but you know, you know, so it'd be cool. It'd be okay. Like it'd be cool, especially when everybody just having fun. It'd be cool. It's yeah. when I'm no longer having fun and you the only person that's having fun and I don't wanna do this no more. It becomes a problem. And it shouldn't. Like you shouldn't make me feel like I'm causing problems in our little whatever we got situation going. thing that we got going on because everybody grow like we all grow so i'm not at that stage in my life no more to where i want to do that i don't want to just have i'm not saying i want i'm not saying i want to be in a relationship with you either i'm not saying that either but now i want more and i know i can't get that from you so i'm gonna just go ahead and exit to the left and go about my business so don't come bothering me trying to make it seem like I'm, I'm the problem. problem. Like, why we can't go back to how we used to be? Uh, what's wrong with us? Uh, da, 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 da. Like, my nigga. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just believe in energy. I give you the energy you give me. You give me energy that you want to be bothered with me. I'm giving you the energy that I want to be bothered but with. But then when you, when you tell me, okay, I'll match your energy. I had somebody. I told somebody that um, I'm just matching your energy. They told me I hate that shit. Don't say that because you're not a nigga, and two wrongs don't make a right. So you can have the energy of you not messing with me like that, and it's okay. And you just come in when you feel like being bothered with me, and I can't have the same energy energy is just what it is it's a push and it's a pull you give and you take that's just what it is it, it, it's just just how it is there's no other way to describe energy that's just what it is so if you're giving me the energy that i'm cool i'm straight but from over there then i have to need to give you the same energy i can't why would i, I say to, be I delusional? yeah why would i be delusional like oh that's just and be okay with that. No, like, I'm not okay with that. I don't want to be treated that way. Treat me the same way you've been treating me. Oh, you can't do that? All right, well, let now let's, we're going to shift into a different part. I fought with you from over there. If you cool, you straight, you want to call my phone and say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? But all that calling my phone, that pulling up and this, that, and the third, like how it used to be? No, because now, before you weren't treating me like a booty call. You was treating me with some respect. Now you treat me like a booty call, and I don't like the way you treat me. So, therefore... I'm going to just have to So now I got to just adjust to the way it is. And I'm perfectly fine with it. And me and Dude, I be like a dude. I don't know why. I don't know why I got to be acting like that. Like, dang, can I get a little ding Can I get a little ding No. I can get a little ding No, they don't like me. You be like, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. You be like, what you doing? Uh, at the house, chilling. Um, come to my house. So what? You going to make me say it? Nah, I ain't, I ain't 
I ain't on that tonight. You really gonna turn down some video that y'all really be out here not wanna feel like we Girl, the only time you pop my phone is when you wanna feel. I don't wanna feel tonight. I don't wanna hang you about to drink that. Like, I thought that that's what y'all like. I thought that y'all were. Yeah, yeah, nah. They don't be wanting to be treated like a booty call, but they no. wanna try to treat you like a booty call. Yeah. This mean get the fuck. Um, because stop playing with me. Let me see that next time. Stop playing with me. Okay. Anyway, as the night goes on, we end up. Okay, I just feel like when you first meet somebody, whether that be male or that be female, I feel like you should read the room. I feel like you should feel the vibes. I feel like you should build a little rapport. And now I can start talking to you. Like, girl, what the fuck is you over there doing? Like, now I can start. Being a little more friendly, Ish. yeah, like putting you in a little more yeah. friendly way vibes, kind of talk instead of like more, you know, you over there, I'm over there kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like as soon as I meet somebody, I'm about to just talk to you like I would talk to somebody who I've known for, you know, yeah, a couple shit, a couple weeks. Cause by the, by, by the time me and her been there left from with somebody that we just met, we be talking to them this, like we've been there new. The same, the same fucking, the yeah. same day. This we been, I, child, that's just such stuff. I've known her for all this long time, whole time I just met these people 15 minutes ago. But <laughs> it's like, you gotta read the room. You just can't go in there and just be talking. I don't can't stand people we know how to damn talk. Friends are talking, 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 talking. As for me, y'all know I do a lot of talking. But that's because y'all be wanting to. Y'all be wanting to do all that talking. Sometimes I don't even feel like talking. Sometimes I be over here minding my own business and I open my DM and y'all be sending me stuff. What do you think about this? So then I be having to talk. I don't be feeling like it sometimes. I really don't. Ain't it? Mm -hmm. I be in my mood. I just. But. Talk, they say. Hoo hoo hoo. So I talk. And for the people who be like, you talk too much. Talk. You don't have to come to my page. It be some of the same people in the comments saying the same thing. You obviously want to hear me talk. You keep coming to my page. There's a block button. You can block me. I will not come in your news unless somebody else posts me. Then that's a different story. But other than that, but even if somebody else is just just keep scrolling. That's it. I got some people on my on my Instagram. I don't. I just keep scrolling or I don't follow them because I don't want to hear what you talk got to say. I don't like your page, <laughs> so I don't follow. I don't follow you. Or if I do happen to see something from your page, I'll just keep scrolling because I don't. I don't. I don't care about nothing that you're talking about. So I just keep scrolling. It's the same thing. I'm not. Trust me. I'm not gonna take no offense. I'm not gonna take no offense. I'm not because I don't care. I'm not gonna take that damn piece of offense too. Nothing that y'all be having to say, so I just, you know, don't care. So I feel like a lot of people need to get that energy, that I don't care energy, and not really worry about what people be having to say about you. And stop doing that motherfucking talking. If you be doing all that talking, <laughs> and nobody's talking back to you, and it's not like everybody's talking, you the only motherfucker talking, baby. Baby, please shut the fuck up. I'm gonna say it for, I'm gonna say it for both of us. Please shut up. Dip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. Remember, tissue 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 a minute didn't even go by before my girl was like, um, what a cup at? I heard her, but I ain't saying that because I'm still looking for the cup that you just asked me for a minute ago. So I didn't say that thing. And then, less than a fucking minute went by and my girl was like, you deaf? And so the man that I said was talking too much, he was like, who you talking to? And then she was like, hey, I'm talking to her. I'm asking her a question and she ain't say nothing. So I still ain't saying that because at this point, bitch, I'm deaf. Because who the fuck is you talking to? My, bro, my girl was, at that point, she like, okay, I'm definitely going home. I was going to go home before, but I thought about coming out with y'all. But now at this point, I'm going to just go ahead and just go home. Because I don't like how. That goes back to... You gotta build a little rapport. 
before that, you can be able to talk to people like that. That was my first time even saying something to that girl. The whole she had not been around us that damn that the whole night. Yeah, yeah, damn that the whole night that we was there. I said nothing to this fucking Y'all girl. We had no conversation up until she asked for a fucking cup. Y'all know when you go out or you, you you around people like we meet people every day, so it ain't no ass on like all that time, but. Um, I, so I'm not from, dang, I'm not from, uh, Shaw Fifth then. Shaw Fifth? Cause he said something about, he said something. Anyway, um, you know how when you go out or whatever and you meet people or whatever, and then it's certain, you like, when you, you click, like, not click, like, oh, we just click tight, but it's like, you cool, you vibe, like, we, everybody just vibing, like, the vibe is there. And then you go out and you meet somebody or somebody's around and it's just the vibe just off. And it may not, it may be you, it may be them, or whatever the case is, but the vibe is just not vibing. The vibe just was not vibing. So I really did not have care to, dang, I, I, I'll be fucking obsessed with this up. I really didn't care to continue to be in that space. So I removed myself from the Before we had a chance to move myself from she had to ask friend what she does. And I was like, <laughs> I, I'm sitting there trying to, I, them Burberry shoes, I know y'all know them. It's so uncomfortable. So I'm trying to take the Burberry, take the shoe off my damn foot. And I hear her say, are you deaf? I face me over there looking. Because she first of all, she's not talking to me. So I'm not the type of person, I'm not gonna respond if you're not talking to me, especially if it's not something that's like that serious, which that is not that serious. So therefore I wasn't gonna respond because she can she can handle her own shit. So I'm moving on your time. What would you what you gonna say? Shit, I'm looking what you got to say? For the first time in forever. <laughs> bitch had nothing to say. I'm I'm the one that's ready to do to have some shit to say. She has nothing. Tell me she trying to be wrong. Okay. I'm changed. Okay, whatever. But Mrs. Judith, obviously she was there. So I, I thought she I, got all this mouth today. She ain't had shit to say last night, but alright. I felt like she was scared. Girl fucking the fuck me. Because why you saying something now? Why you ain't saying nothing? Because I why you ain't saying first, first, first of all, first of all, first of all, it was not even that serious. I didn't even take offense to what the fuck she said. Okay, so why you talking about it now? Because bitch, we oh bitch, we talking, we talking about fucking everything on camera. Okay, no we don't, but why you We talking about, about everything on fucking camera. Do we not? You scared, just say that. Girl. If you I had your back though, so it wasn't no sense for you to be scared. Just saying. Girl, fuck you please, because normally it's you the one that's motherfucking scared and you shut I, and you just sit there and be fucking quiet. And normally it be me that be ready to ready tap tap. But last night I was just it was, we we switched shoes last night. So last night it was her that was all Ready to, ready to in, in, in. And it was me that was just how she would normally be. Because don't play with me. Because what the fuck you mean? Like, <laughs> bitch, are you deaf? Are you retarded? And I think she said that she didn't like the girl. It wasn't that I didn't like her. It's not that I did not like, because I don't know you not to like you, but I just didn't care for the energy. That's it. You didn't care for the energy. Yeah, I didn't. I just didn't. Or you didn't care energy. because she had not got on the um the the little, um what is called the the book the um the little uh golf cart mm -hmm. and the other people that we came in the car with had got off so she could get on. Was it that point? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was before that. It was before. Oh, was it her outfit? It was all of it. Oh. It was. It is like this. I am not. I'm the one of the most friendliest people that you will ever meet. If you met me in person, like a lot of people meet me from social media, and they meet me in person. I'm like, oh, you cool. You just how you is on social media. I am really that way in real life. I'm the most friendliest person that you'll ever meet. But it just be like when people do too much. Like, when you doing too much? I'm not gonna ever do too much to be around you. I don't care who you is. So I'm not gonna do too much. And I'm not saying she was doing too much to be around me. That's not what I'm saying. But when you do too much, it just makes me feel like, I don't know, like, I'm used to the females that just be like, that just vibe, like, you look good, you just, you feel me? Like, so you just, felt like she was doing too much last night? Yeah, I felt like she was doing too much. But that's just in her character. That's, that's just what it is. So therefore, like I said, if you don't like something, you remove yourself from the situation. 
the vibe is not there. People who people who are not in a you not vibing with what's going on and you still remain there, you the problem. You the problem. You 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 yeah. can't say you can't say nothing because you the problem because you got the opportunity to get up and remove yourself from that situation you chose not to. So now you're the problem. You're creating the problem. I wasn't feeling the vibe, so I got up and I left, and that was it. It ended a discussion and whatever happened at night happened at night. I wasn't there. I don't know, but yeah, that was it. Shit. It's okay for people not to like care for you like that. People don't care for me. Bitches talk too much. Like, people don't care for me either. You look like a mean bitch. People don't care. That's just what it is. Bitch, you talk too much and you look mean. People don't care for you. And stuck up. Sometimes people don't care for you, but that's okay. That's what makes you you. That's what makes that girl her. You are who you are. I'm just one person that don't care to be around you, so I just remove myself from that situation. But yeah, bitch, you is who you is, girl. Have fun. Have fun. Live it up. Do your, do your big one, friend. Um, just throw it in. That's it. That's all. Yeah. It's okay. But on that note, I it was something that somebody oh, full court pumps. I think that's what the Instagram name is. And I gotta look and see if that's a stain on my couch. But anyway. Full, you see it right there at the top? Oh, yeah. Um, full court pumps. I think that's the Instagram name. Um, or maybe horrible decisions. Anyway, they both, it's the same people. They just got two different, um, two different podcasts. But, all right, when Tyler Perry had said, mm -hmm. Tyler Perry said, girl, they just be falling off. Tyler Perry said, um, that women, basically, if you have somebody, a guy and he's working and he paying whatever it is that he can pay whatever whatever, whatever. be enjoy your relationship don't compare your relationship or don't that basically in a sense say like want more i guess when you have like a good situation going on so they took it as he was saying women should settle like you should settle for what basically settle for what it is that you get mm -hmm. So what what do you think? Um, I think I re I reposted it on my story. Y'all can go look at it. Wait, no. My, I, I didn't even look at I didn't even look at the um video to see, get like, more sure. details about whatever it is that they said. But I highly doubt that that's what he was trying to say. A lot more money. Like, yeah. If that man worked at whatever job and it's a good man, she's comfortable enough to say, "You can't like this, baby. You can take me to dinner and that." It's fine. This was a troll in telling black women to settle. He should have used that moment to say, fellas, we're losing what we deem as our masculinity. The only thing that I vehemently disagree with you on is what a man makes is in direct correlation with his masculinity. That's not what she said. That is how men define you. Um, I agree with that. <laughs> If the woman makes more money than the man, then you should be like, you know, just be in your relationship. Just be, yeah, just be in your fucking relationship. Uh, that's I, what I got for I don't see nothing wrong with what he said. She just made it seem like he just said, oh, like, you should oh, you should settle, like, get down on your fucking knees or something like that. Yeah. I don't see nothing wrong with what he said. I don't see nothing wrong with what he said either. And, and, Maybe and, she misinterpreted what he said. But like the the, uh, the other lady said, a lot of it is a, the masculinity of a man is associated with the the amount of money that he makes. Yeah. They are so they in themselves associate those two, and then in turn we women we associate those two. So it is kind of hard on a man when a woman makes more money than them because some women, not all women, they throw their weight around. Not all of them, but some women do. They throw their weight around. So, yeah. But I don't really think that he was saying, like, nah, you should settle for, you know, whatever. But, like, if you in your relationship and your man, you make more than your man. Be in your relationship. Like, okay, you make more. You Okay. And if if you in a relationship with a guy that you make more money, money than, if you feel a certain type of way, go get a man that makes more than you or equal to what you make. If you, if, if basically, pretty much, basically, if I made more money, t thank you to my man, okay, for this, this house. But anyway, if I made more money than him, then that just means we get do more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Like you make what you make, I make what I make. We combine together. And there you go. Like that's just what. It's not. I make more money than you, so this is my money or this. Or money. I make more money than you, so I'm belittle you. Yeah, no, it ain't like none of that. Like this is our money. At this point, once you, you, him, together, one. We are one. We move as one. That means this money moves as one. That don't mean because you make more money than me, you get to make more decisions than me. No, at the end of the day, you still the man of the household and your ass gotta act like the man of the household regardless of how much money you make. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, if I made $100,000 more than you, it, that doesn't change the fact that you still run this house and you need to run it the, the proper way. I just make a little, I make more money than you because I do whatever it is that I do, but that ain't got nothing to do with the core foundation of our household. That just means now we able to do more shit. We able to invest more. You What you wanna do? Shit. That, they go fifty thousand right there. What you wanna do? Go do do what you over there that you you feel like you wanna do. Go flip it, toss it, reverse it back and forth like whatever Missy Ellie said. Yeah, that ain't that. It ain't that big of a deal. It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. Y'all, if it is, then just go get you a guy that makes more than you um the same amount. Because I'm not. I don't want to date nobody that's that's making less money than me. But you know, me I be the one that I be the one that right. Men are more likely to mess with a female that make less than him versus a female messing with a guy that make less than her. If I, when I say that, I mean, given my current circumstances, I'm not about to date him. That's just right. what it is. That'd be stupid. That'd be crazy. But if I'm making 100000 or 50000 six whatever, if I'm making whatever and he's making Forty thousand, but he's making his own money. Then okay, yeah, that's that's different. But if I'm already not up in the thousands, and I'm making what I'm making, and you making crumbs, shit, I'm making, I'm making, um, what them expensive cookies called? The ones you be sticking inside of the uh, Lorena, Lorena, um, Lorda, Lord, Lord, bitch, I forgot the the square cookies, Lord, Lorena. Lorena? No, it's not called Lorena. Like, who would they be cooking Lorena? La, La Donda. La Dooney? Mm. La whatever the fuck. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, wait. I gotta get another one. Okay, um... Chessman cookies. Okay. I'm making Chessman cookies, and you over here making the crumbs that's at the bottom of uh, Walmart brand Oreos. That don't make sense. That that don't make sense because it's gonna you gonna have problems in your relationship. I had problems in my relationship. I did it. I can speak from uh, from experience. You gonna have problems in your relationship because that man is gonna feel less masculine. It goes back to exactly what that lady just said. That man is gonna feel less masculine because you make more money than him, and you're not even making no buku amount of cash. You ain't even making all of this money. You you just, you just make your health. You just more than him. you just making more than him. It ain't like you making hundreds of thousands more than him. You just making more than him. He gonna feel less master and insecure when it comes down to you because he gonna feel like a man with more money can come and get you. you but in actuality, in some situations, that don't be the case. That's just like I'm not with you because you got money. Obviously, you should clearly see that. I'm with you because I felt like you had potential and that's that shit that we need to stop doing, ladies. I already not stopped doing it. So if you still doing it, you need to fucking stop. Don't <laughs> stop all that trying to fall in love and be there with a man who got potential but not living up to his full capabilities or even trying to live up to his full capabilities. That shit's dead. Leave that back in 20, earlier in 2023. We're moving forward. This is the last quarter of 20, we in the last quarter? Yeah, we in the last quarter of 2023. Let's make this last quarter count. Leave that goofy ass shit in Quarter three. If you over here trying to be with a man for the potential, drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Just oh, he has drop potential. It. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Oh, he has potential. They be having a lot of potential. He's not living up to it. I got a lot of potential. My man done said to me, you got a lot of potential. <laughs> I want to see you live in your in your essence of your womanism. I want to really see you be everything that I feel like and I I see for you. I want to see you do that. He sees the potential that I have. He sees what who. He sees who I am beyond what it is that I see. So therefore, not only do not only do he see, I know that for himself. 
So self is moving in in my own little bubble. I'm doing what it is that I know that I should be doing in order for me to live the life that I want to live. So in order, and, and also in order for me to be the woman that I know that I want to be. So therefore, I'm doing I'm I, the potential that you see. I'm moving in that. See my hair up, move up the slope. You can't see the potential in the man and. Bitch, you just, that's it, like, you ain't, you just gonna sit on the couch and play, play video games. games. You get paid, if you get paid to play these video games, then baby, by all means, honey, what else you need? You need some chins, you need a little, 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 little. what, you, you need me to hold your chicken while you eat it? Like, what else do you need if you get paid to play these video games? But if you just sitting on this game playing these video games, your homeboy say, all right, bro, I'm gonna catch you later, I'm about to go to work, and you like, all right, bro, you still sitting on the video games? Baby, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You can't put gas in the car, <laughs> but you wanna drive the car. No, like, mm -mm. you wanna drive the car, but you can't get fixed. No, like, uh uh. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, you gotta what? Go oh, ahead. She, she, oh, she, she, got, she, she got all them churn upstairs. Let me tell y'all the kids, honey got. Honey got like five kids. And you, you probably hear them up there making all that damn noise, but she about to cuss their ass out. See? She was trying to use her inside voice so y'all didn't hear what the fuck she was up there saying. <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's what her was trying to do. And this is the reason why I film when my kids not here. But no, all I said was the fact that I can hear y'all in this video is really pissing me off. That's all I said. I ain't, I ain't had to say nothing else. Because I gave him a pep talk before I started recording. And they, you taking this shit over there, Paul? But they just, they just, just do it in the morning. What Cody had to ask you, he was like, um, the man was talking about so much shit. I can't even remember what exactly he said. He was like, when. Why women just can't have one baby daddy? You can mess with other guys, but when you have kids, just go back to that one man that you had that child from and continue having kids from him. Okay, that's what he said. What, that's what? what he said. So why do you do that? You got three kids, three baby daddies. So you want another one, so that means you're going to have a fourth baby daddy. Mm -hmm. So why you didn't just go back and have kids yeah. Um, because my first girl today, we had sex one time, I ended up pregnant. That was not for me. My second girl <laughs> today, um, I was too young to get an abortion, and my woman had to left me down here, and she had moved to Georgia. Um, so that was all I had to do. He was taking care of me and my daughter, and I was go at. So that's how I ended up with my second daughter and my third daughter. Um, I just ended up pregnant and. I was battling in between my, whether I should have an abortion or whether I should keep her. And at the time, I wasn't like, I was like against abortions. I didn't believe that I should do that because I was uh, listening to them old people. <laughs> so I had her and then I got a birth control. So I didn't want the kids to begin with. I didn't plan, not, yeah, I didn't want the kids to begin with. I didn't plan to have three kids. So. That's what ended up happening, but now. So wait, now that you have, well, now that we know that you have the three kids. Mm -hmm. So when you get, when you want to have your fourth child, mm -hmm. being that the other two daddies is far off. One well, is incarcerated, one is on the run because he's running from child support. And, <laughs> and the other the one other is just is around here. Around here so around here. being that you know what a third one at and, 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 and you be communicating with him. Mm -hmm. When you're ready to have your fourth child, why you just gonna have your fourth child? <laughs> you got me once. <laughs> why you gonna have your fourth child with him? You got me once. I know that you won't get me again. I never understood that about people. That's why I go back and have a baby by a man that ain't even fulfilling all his duties as a father. Why do that again? I'm not. I don't feel that. I don't feel. Huh? We gonna be learning looking like a pack of motherfucking Crayolas, okay? So I don't. No, hell no. Have a baby by have a baby by your last baby daddy or go to jail for thirty days. I'll go to jail for I do a year. I'll do two. 
before you have another baby before by have, any one of them. Yeah, before I have another baby by any one of them, I got five years in me. I will lay down to five years. Now you go to saying ten, I had a baby. Do I gotta keep the baby? <laughs> do, I, do I gotta keep the baby or I can just like hey give him the baby? If I can hear give him the baby, then I I have the baby give it to him. If they talking about the ten piece, anything over five I can't do. But I got five in me. Before I have another baby by one of my baby babies, I I, I ain't even babies. got five in me. So you gotta have a baby. So if they be like, you gotta have a baby by one of my baby daddies, you do it. Or you gotta go to jail for five years. I got five. Oh, okay. I got five. I got five. You go to them, them, them tens and the fifteens and just, just, just had a baby. I ain't can't help you with it, but just have a baby. <laughs> Don't figure it out, do whatever you gotta do. But, Give um, it away. You do something with it, but yes, no. So going into that, all right, so boom. So I, it's this situation in... Um, well, it not even a situation, so I'm not talking about a particular person, but situations in general, right? To where the baby mamas be so uncooperative and they be so vindictive and so just evil spirited to the point to where they make it virtually almost impossible for the man to even want to deal with her in order for him to be able to be a part of his child's life. So given you have the court system, okay, and y'all can go get y'all rights and y'all visitation rights, but even then, you still have baby mamas that are so just utterly ridiculous and just disgusting acting to the point to where they make it impossible for the man. They make it to where the man don't even want to have nothing to do with the child. And the child just born ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So do you feel like that man is a deadbeat if he decides that he shouldn't, that he is not going to be in that child's life, period, point blank, and I just figured out. I will go talk to them when they get of age. If you take that approach as opposed to going through the living hell, he gonna go through it very wrong. I don't feel as if he's a daddy. Come on now, speak your shit, man. I don't, I don't feel as if he's a daddy, but I don't think he should take that approach. Like, okay, she's taking me through all this. Just fuck, fuck, fuck it. I ain't even gonna try to be a father to the child. I think he should just still continue to try. Try his fucking hardest. Go through the courts and all that extra shit. Try your best, bitch, until, until the child get 18. But don't just cut the shit off like it's a wrap. She done took me through all this. She doing too much. I can't see my child. Da, 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 whatever, whatever. Like, no. So do you think that'll make him a daddy? <sighs> if he take that approach. I mean, he can take that approach. No, no way. He can, he can take that approach. But is he still, like... Dropping stuff off to the house. I pay my child for work. I pay my child for whatever child for. If, if child support said I had to pay three thousand dollars a month for this one child, I pay my child support. But I don't got nothing else to. You, she ain't got my number. She don't know where I live at. Like when I say I fell off the face of the earth, I do. Okay, am I considered a baby? Would you say that's a baby dad? No, no, that's not a baby dad. What is it? I don't know what the fuck he is, but he ain't no dad be dead. Because I know some dad be dead that's not even paying their fucking child support. I'm sorry, I'm just a baby. <laughs> I know some niggas that's not even paying their child support. Those are fucking. And they, on top of that, they still ain't doing that. So would you say, okay, would you say he's just not a father? Yeah, he ain't okay. no father. He's just a daddy. Because I feel like dad, baby daddies and fathers is too different things. Like my next child's. Father, he's a father. Do not refer to him as my baby daddy. Say your baby's father. Yes, my baby's father. Right, but I um, don't. Yeah, he he not a daddy though. He's just not. He's just not fucking there. He's just not a father. Daddy, he just not a father. So would you say I'm a daddy, mama? Because because I take that approach. With who? My little daddy. D. My baby daddy. You said which one? Shit. Oh, I do got a lot of kids. You do got a lot of kids. Which child are you talking about? Uh, Rayana, my middle daughter. I took that approach. Um, but you you take care of them. What are you talking about? So, what you mean you took that approach? It's the, it's just opposite. I'm just the mom in the situation and. He but he pay. don't he don't pay his child support. He don't do shit. She don't even know who the fuck he is. Oh, I'm just saying. Cause I, I chose I chose to 
I chose to cut off all ties, sever all ties when she was 10 months as opposed to deal with him and who he was. I don't know who he is now. He could be changed. He could be a different person, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. But I chose to just cut off all ties and just go. I knew I was going to have to take care of this baby because the shit but that you have I was to look at the circumstance. I was going to say the circumstance that he put you through. Like, bitch, I can't yeah, say it's too. That's what I'm saying. Bitch, so you why is like it? Okay, so now why is it a double standard when I did it? I chose to do it. Because when I was he made, when I said this man made it impossible to cope here, it was impossible. Like it's it was always something it was just impossible. So I chose to just be like, you know, fuck that shit. So why is it that when a man decides, fuck that shit, I'll deal with it. Like I told when she turned into honey, go by all means, go do do your thing. But as of now, look like nah, we ain't doing it. So why is it that I can freely make that decision and I don't get called like a bad mom or nothing like that? But when a man make that decision, Based off of the co-parent um, approach to whatever you know, they whatever, however she treating him, whatever she taking him through, why is it then that he's considered dead? To me? I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see, I, I see, I see what you did there. It's definitely a double standard. It's a double standard, yeah, because, standard. because I did it, and it's like, oh, you did what you had to do for your daughter, but you know, when look what he was taking you through, this, that, and the third. But when he did it. Oh, you a dead bitch. You supposed to still be there for your kid. How you just gonna leave your kid? That kid ain't got nothing to do with this. Da 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 blah, 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 blah. Where's the energy? There's none. So was I wrong? You gonna say no? No, you weren't wrong. I'm gonna say no. No, you weren't wrong. But in a sense, I took away. I took away her. Uh, um, her, I took away her being able to know who he was. All she don't even know who he, the man could walk right past her right now. And she wouldn't even know. But I took that away because her knowing him would have hurt her way worse than her not knowing him. He has a child I, that he did this to, so I already know what you' about to do. So therefore, why, why even go through all that? So for the men that's out there. And you know it'd be so crazy. Sometimes they end up you you find the end up you know you got your head right. You ain't messing with the girl no more. It's like I ain't messing with you no more. This that third. I'm serious. Cut off, dead, dumb. Bitch, and up pregnant. And, and, that, that was, and guess what? She's gonna keep it because I you you gonna stay in here. I still got tired. I'm, I'm sorry, but if I break up with you, <laughs> if we break up and we like. And you know, I can't even put myself in a situation because I'm not that type of person. I would never keep a child out of, like, anger and won't know. You said keep she, a child? Yeah, like, I'd never keep a child because, like, I ended up pregnant and this nigga don't want me. And I'm going to keep the child just so I can be vindictive and hang it over his head. And I don't so know, I can stay high So I can stay high time. I would never do that. I'm not that type of person. So I can't really put Cause myself not, in shoes. Because now it's a possibility that you have this baby that he told you that he did not want. Now you might be taking care of this child by yourself because I told you I did not want that damn baby. And do I look and like that happens, single mama? And that happens sometimes. Sometimes they step up and be like, all right, fuck it, and they just take care of the child. And then sometimes they be like, all right. They just told you to get real. But I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Sure and you, you end up having to take care of the damn child on your own. Who want to go through all that? Not me. Don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I, I only speak for myself. And I ain't doing it. No, you can speak for both of us. Cause yeah, you know, for the both of us. If, I'm not doing that. Now, by 18, when I had my last daughter, they had to make me feel so guilty about abortions and stuff like that. Now, I'm I'm seasoned. I'm like aged cheese, okay? You well seasoned. Well seasoned. I know that. You can't make me, you ain't taking care of that one of these kids. So, sweetheart, if you out there, whoever you may be, and you contemplate getting an abortion, and anybody in your life making you feel guilty about it, honey, pray about it. If you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, then you know, whatever. But do what you got to do for you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be the one who have to be deal with that baby and have to deal with everything that comes with it. And raising a child is more than putting him on or her on some cute clothes or some cute shoes and getting him or her hair done. It takes, a it takes to raise a child. way more than that. To raise a child, so and I got three of them. Try spreading yourself out between three three different people who want three different things from you and want to talk to you all the time. Yeah, think about that before you do something like that, and especially think about it if you're trying to do that shit so you keep a man. 
Baby, we don't keep no mess. We are here to tear y'all ass apart faster than to put y'all together. I'm trying to tell you something about open your eyes. Mm-hmm. Open your eyes. Look and see where everybody else around you want to. Open your ears and pay attention to what the shit, shit we over here talking about. You might talk to something. I'm just saying. And I'm not gonna lie. Seeing all the stuff that my sister and I went through with these babies, with these men and these kids, made me not even want to have no child at the fuck all. Give me a dog, and I don't know about my business. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm I feel like she shot two kids. Only reason why I say that is because at least they'll be left with somebody in the world. I only, I only but want one. But she only want one. But God gonna make her have to in his watch. Shut up. God, don't listen to her. Yes. She don't know that thing. He is. Watch. He gonna give you twins. He, she don't. He gonna give you twins only because he know you ain't gonna try to go back and do it again. She don't know that hmm I know. By the time she had kids, nothing, my kids going to be Nothing wrong. about kids say go and have two, three, four, five, six of them. And, um, but I have to do it again. I ha- I don't have to do it again, but I want to do it again so I can experience uh, that pregnancy. Yeah, a happy pregnancy. Uh, I you want to take the tiny pictures. You never yeah. take the tiny pictures with none of them. None of my kids, no. First, bitch, first of all, I was 14 with the first one. 16 with the second one. Embarrassing, embarrassed as fuck, and really embarrassed. I'm like, come on now. I ain't even walk across the stage. That's how embarrassing I was. That's how embarrassed I was when I graduated high school because I was being pregnant. So, like, no. So, I can say, like, all three, those was not happy pregnancies. Those was not wanted pregnancies. Those was, yeah, I was miserable. All three of them. So, I want to do it again so I can really have that experience and really, like, be happy that I'm pregnant and, and actually want the child and, you know, mm-hmm. so on and so forth and, you know, whatever. But, you know, it happens. And I'm not going out there looking for it. It happens. It happens. <clears throat> it don't. Then it don't. It is what it is. That's, it ain't in my plans. It ain't in the plans. Not my plans, but it ain't in the plans to do. And that's not to say I don't love my kids, but I had to grow to love my kids. I love my kids because they was my kids. They came from me. Mm-hmm. But coming from a household, which we was talking about, y'all act like y'all ain't... Whatever, but come yeah, from a household. I didn't understand what the fuck we was talking about. Like, where you didn't get that. You didn't get that. We didn't come from a loving household. We didn't come from that. So the love that we pour onto each other, like, we had to learn all of this behavior. Like, even the men that come into our like, we learn From this. the men to life situations to shit, every damn thing. We had to learn this shit. We had to really learn and reverse it. It really sucks because we got set back. We had to re- we had to learn, unlearn things and relearn it. Because the way that we was taught, the way we was brought up was so like wrong. Up. Like so we gonna up. say we gonna say fucked up, we're gonna say wrong. Some people feel like it's normal. They do. Like some people feel like that kind of life is normal, but it's not. Yeah. Like we don't come from a loving household. We didn't I don't remember really getting told by my mom that I was I love you. Or I I didn't even feel love growing up. We didn't even tell each other that we loved each other. Like, even now, as an adult, you tell one of our brothers that we love, it's like, they like, what? Like, they all acting all awkward and shit. Like, <laughs> it be such an awkward one. Like, I love you. Huh? Yeah. You heard what huh? I said. Like, like awkward. Awkward. Fuck. So, we had to really learn in, you know, how to how to be loved, how we want to be loved. What was love? How does it feel? Like, and it's so sad that you... You pretty much learned from the guys that you dealt with. Basically. And that's so sad. Basically, pretty much. And it is... Instead of learning from within instead, your household, from your mom or from your dad, you learned from the people that what, you dealt with. What you learned in your household, what I learned in my household was not what I thought was love was not love. It didn't feel, it didn't feel good. I thought love was, if this is what love is, I don't want it. Like, it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good at all. And because that's the way that I was brought up, and that's what I saw with my eyes, that's what I thought. So that's, ultimately, that's what I went out there and I did. And then eventually, like, I had to really, like, step on people. Was like, where you went at? I had disappeared off social media. Like, I just fell off the face of the earth. And I had to really go and, like, deep dive into me and deep dive into who I am and, who am I? Like, at this, I don't even know who I am. Like, for real, for real. So I had to really go and do that and read, 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 and try to really uh, understand who I was as a person. What is love? How does, what does that feel like? And now I know, now I, you know, 
And it's, it's different because the guys who I would have let talk to me back then can't get near me today. And they'll be like, oh, you acting like that? Yup. Oh, that is. Because chips. You know that me. You don't know this me. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that, that is what we were trying to tell y'all when we were seeing in the video, but y'all was like, oh, your mama just supposed, your mama's oh, parents are supposed I think to they it. got thrown off when you was like, um, because I see everybody comes in like, your parent not supposed to be your, your friend. friend, and that's what's wrong with y'all. Oh, y'all hurt because y'all mama wasn't y'all friend. Is you not listening? Is you not comprehending what we said? Because now time is not the video that any one of us say. Some shit like I said something about like you can't even crack a joke. Everything yeah, happens. you can't crack a joke because everything's so you supposed to be able to go. You can't in. have a conversation with your mom because it's like go sit down. Yeah, get out of my face. Get out of grown folks' face. Get out of grown folks. Yeah, get out of grown folks' face. Get out of grown folks. I'm trying to come in here and show you the little dancey dance, and you. I'm trying to come and show you <laughs> what the people. Just show you um how I got this reward at school, and I'm not trying to come and tell you about. The day I had at school, you don't talk about your day. You don't like. You don't talk about no how, family, family game days, night, like, family game nights. Um, what you want to be when you grow up? None of that. What's your plan? So you grow up. I don't know. 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 And y'all feel like we was wrong from saying what the fuck. What we said inside of the video? That's crazy. That's how you know that it's normal within these households. Yeah, it's normal like, for it's, you to not be normalized. Able, it's normal for you not to be able to talk to your parents. And getting the love and the affection, like Like it's not just your job. Like I tell my kids all the time, like they really unappreciative. They really unappreciative as fuck when it comes down to me, because I'm like, I really pour into y'all what my mama did not give me. So um they are unappreciative. Side note. But anyway, <laughs> oh, I tell them all the time, I'm like, this safe space that I created for y'all, for y'all to be able to come and talk to me. Even though, like, sometimes they be trying to play pranks on me and I get serious. Like, I go from, like, he got to, like, this, because, like, I don't know. I don't be with all that playing shit, all that. Like, don't play with me like that. But, the motherfuckers be trying it. But anyway, um, I got to tell them all the time, like, it's my job to teach you the rules of life and to give you, I said little cheat codes on life, but really it's just bitch life, like tips. Um, um, what's the word? Um, what? Experience. Um, so I'm experienced, you're not. So I can give you these little tips. So if you don't do this or if you do do this, do it like this. So then you can basically cheat and not have to go through what it is that I went through or what she went through or he went through. You can skip that skip and go straight to step five because you done, you know better. So you ain't got to worry about going through all that. So it's my job to give you the rules of life so you can know what not to do. And it's my job to give you the tips in life so you can know what to do. It's also my job to put clothes on your back, to feed you, and it makes you go to school. That's my job. All that other extra shit is bonuses. That's a plus. My nigga, that's a bonus, okay? Going out to eat, going to your friend's house, having a social life, going uh, going to um off the wall amusement parks, and you know, really vacation. creating vacations, really creating those memories like that. Those are bonuses. Those are things that you earn. Those are in return for me doing my job. Now, your job is to take your ass to school. Do what we do. What them people tell you to do. Learn whatever it is that you need to learn, so you get to the next grade. Learn your uh, basic motor skills. Clean up. Do your little chores or whatever. And listen. That's it. That's your job. That, that's your job. So if I'm doing my job, you're not doing your job. How do you expect to be rewarded? Because in real life, you can't go to your job and tell them people what you ain't gonna do, and then still expect them to give you a check. It don't work like that. So I'm not one of those parents that's about to but sit here and pray with my fucking kids. You my mama, so you supposed to. No, I don't. I, I, no, I don't. Uh, and I'm also supposed to instill morals and values in you, and make sure you have self esteem and confidence within yourself. Because a child that's not confident grow up to be an adult that's not confident, and then be out here doing goofy ass shit. Don't know if they coming or going. Don't even know their identity because they mom or they dad didn't instill no type of self esteem or confidence in that child. And we was one of them kids. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, like y'all, y'all see here. It's not just your job to put, make sure I got food on my stomach and clothes on my back. 
That's not the only job as a parent. There's other things that goes into that pot. And if you're not putting everything into that pot, then you have these kids that grow up that don't know if they come in the lost going and head. they lost as hell in this world. And now they following fucking sex red and following. You get what I'm saying? Like, what do you do? Okay, so y'all. It all, it all starts off in the household. And like I be, I told, I told her, I be telling anybody who will, who want to listen, anybody who tell me something, and this plays a role in it or plays a part, I tell them, it's not just you, it's not just me, like it's not just me. I'm doing everything that I could, that I know, and that I possibly could do to make sure that my kids have a good life growing up and so on and so forth. But it's not just me; it's also them. They play a role in this too. Now you have to make the decision on whether you want to be a different kind of kid or whether you want to follow up behind the little girls who doing what sex red doing or doing what this who girl doing. Who want to shake their all in the camera? Who want to talk to the little dirty little boys? All that. You got to decide that, nah, I'm going to be different. I'm going to go this route. That's with, It's either in you or it's not in you. It was in me. It was in her to say, we don't want to be a product of our environment. We don't want to be like the other girls. I got three kids. I got three kids by the age of 18. I was raped at 12. Went through hell, hella niggas trying to find whatever the fuck it was that I was trying to find. Like, kick, kicked out of my, kick, not even kicked out, but left down in a one state while my mom and the other kids moved to a different state. Like, statistically, I'm supposed to be fucked up. I'm supposed to be on drugs. I'm supposed to be on housing. I'm supposed to be, you know, having more. I'm supposed to have way more kids than I have. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm supposed to be fucked up statistically, and I'm not. Because it was in me. I knew within me, I ain't going to be like that. I'm not about to be like that. I'm not about to be like her. I'm not about to be like her. All these girls who I went to school with, like... They, they fucked up. Fucked up. Like, they fucked up. Like, literally fucked up. And I knew from that age, from that young, I'm like, I'm not going to be like that. By the time I made it to 18, I had that my last daughter. I was like, let me get my shit together because I can't keep. I, I ain't can't have them like that. Fuck this shit. I can't do it. Like I can't do it. But it was in me to want to be and better. How? And then, oh, matter of fact, you had four kids. What the fuck? Hey, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> And you still gonna go back to McDonald's and you still gonna go. 
I'm the wrong person to talk to because I done been through way too much shit. I done been through way too much shit to be as young as I am for me to listen to the bullshit you're talking about that you could change. Mm -mm. I feel that, you know. Hell yeah. So, when we said what we said about our parents, we just wanted to elaborate so y'all could know a little more personable. As we keep going, season three is going to get real personal. Real personal because somebody told us, they was like, we know the... The he he ha ha smooch your honey, but we don't really know you know you know you like what's behind that. Yeah, and here it, there it is. Season three, I guess I had season three, three gonna be about that. <laughs> you feel me? But I knew I was like, I can't let her go out the same way I went out. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing with no 15 year old because I ain't never had a 15 year old, but. The experience that I gained from her, now I know what what I'm gonna be dealing with, and now I know how to deal with my 15. She's 14 now, but she will be 15 in a year. She'll be 15 next year. But now I know certain things on how I can, you know, deal with that situation or whatever. But everything happened for a reason. Faith is the biggest thing. Like even if you don't believe in God or whatever, the universe is still real. What you put out is what you get back. Definitely. You go to work. You go, you put in your 40 hours, you get paid $20 an hour or 40 hours, you get your paycheck at the end of the week or two weeks or whatever. You know what you put in at that job, you get it back in two mm -hmm. weeks. Same thing with everything else in your life. You know if you just fucking, 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 eventually what you gonna get? A baby, some shit, or some shit you can't get rid of. There you go. So what you put out there is what you get back. So the work that you put out... Ultimately, it's gonna come back with the rewards. Whatever you you weep with yourself, whatever you put down, that's what's gonna grow. I'm about to go out there and grow some motherfucking potatoes because I'm tired of paying these people. At, I don't even know if it's organic at this point. So I'm about to get some organic stuff and I'm about to plant it out there and I'll let y'all know how that shit go. <laughs> but what I put out there and I'm trying to grow, it, it, that's what I'm gonna be able to eat at the end of the day. So all that other extra stuff. All day, you trying to wait for this nigga to come and come save you, sweetheart. He's not coming. He's not coming. If he ain't came and got me, yeah, baby, he ain't coming to get you. <laughs> if he ain't came and got us, he ain't coming to get you, baby. So let, let's just go ahead and really focus on self. Self. Self and more of self. Yeah. Because all I've been focusing on is self. I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas. No nothing. So, that's because that's all that matters at the end of the day. That's me getting my matters. shit together, me working on myself. And I can say, I have gotten better. Uh, I feel a hell of a lot better. Yeah. yeah. And I'm more happy these days, you know? So. Hoorah. <laughs> you see that all that happiness? Hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, like, now what I, what I see is, like, I was talking about last night, moves that revolve. And I had said, I'm like, I'm not fucking for you. Like, I'm not fucking because I want to please you. If I'm going to have sex with somebody, I'm going to have sex with you because that's what I want to do. I want to have sex with you. I want to have a nut. I want to catch up. And I'm going to have sex with somebody who I know is about to please me in the way that I want to be pleased. I'm not just having sex because yes. you want to have sex. And I like you, so I'm going to go ahead and give you some. Whether I, whether, and a lot, guys, pay attention, because a lot of the times that when women have sex with y'all, it's not because she catching a nut every time y'all have sex. It's because she likes you. She likes you. So because she likes you, she has sex with you. The minute she stopped liking you, she stopped having sex with you. Because I'm not, there's no benefit of me having sex with you. There's no benefit. Mm -hmm. So therefore, now I'm about to just cut all ties and be done with that and just, so for a guy to talk to me now and you think you about to have sex with me? Mm-mm, friend. You're not. You, I, I freshly ran out of all of it. I don't have none. I have none. I gave it all away to the women. You should have caught me back then. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I have none. Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to have sex ever. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, I'm not just having sex just because you want to have sex with me. If that's the case, I'd be having sex with a whole I would have been had a hundred bodies by now. If that was the case, how many people be wanting to have sex with my life? Mm -hmm. So at some point, you got to start making these decisions to, hey, let me really, you know, am I going to like you three months from now? If I'm not about to like you three, three months from now, I'm not having sex with you. I'm not. If we can't talk for three months, 
If we keep the same energy and you keep the same energy just for three months, bro, you can't do it for three months. And then if I wait three months and I have sex with you and it ain't hitting on nothing and then we start talking, then okay, cool. At least I ain't give it up the first day. Anyone hitting on nothing. That'd be my thing. I don't be liking to catch an unnecessary oh, Catch an unnecessary body for no reason. I'm gonna just keep I'm just gonna keep it to myself. That's all. I'm just you know, cause them bodies this them unnecessary bodies. Them be the ones. Them be the ones that really break your soul down. You really be kicking yourself in the ass because I didn't even have to do that, bro. I could have really stayed at my little number that I was at. And I really caught this unnecessary body. It wasn't even worth me. Yeah. And you are really looking at your life like. You go to waking the fuck up. 
am I doing everything I'm supposed to be doing so I don't be struggling when I'm 35? Because everything you do in your 20s is how you're going to live in your 30s, 30s, how you, what you do in your 30s going to be, how you live in your 40s, yeah. so on and so forth. So you preparing 10 years in advance. 10 years. You're not preparing five. You're preparing 10 years. So everything that we do from here on out is going to determine how we live when we get in our 30s. And at 25, I'm like, bruh. Yeah. I'm about to be 30. I stopped <laughs> hanging around. A lot of people that I used to hang around. Well, not even hang around, bitch. Go Just out go with. out with. Go out with. And I stopped going out. I don't be on the scenes how I used to. Bitch, I be out the fucking way. I be on the scenes when I get paid to be on the scenes. Or when the people tell me, honey, you need to be here. Because such such it be there. Look good for your image. It looks good for the image. Whatever. Then I go on the scenes. Other than that, first of all, I was outside since I was 16 years old. So, therefore, I ain't... It, it, the same shit y'all doing when I was 16 and y'all in the club doing it is the same shit y'all doing now. Only difference is the music has changed a little bit, but shit, we still listening to the music from back in what? 2000, motherfucking 10, 2000, yeah. what, 18? Yeah. We still listening to that, the same music, so I ain't missing shit. I ain't missing nothing I ain't missing shit at the fuck off. You, at the end, I got to a point where they don't even call and text my damn, a bitch don't even call and text my phone no more about going somewhere. It's like, all feel like it. Like it's all feel like it. I don't want to. I be want to be in the fucking house. Let me say this. Let me rephrase that. They never used to call me. Cause by the time I hit twenty one, that was it. It was a wrap. It was a wrap. For me. I be wanting to be in the house, and when I'm not in the house, I'm doing some some shit that gonna fucking benefit me. If she ain't in her or, house, I'm she ain't in my house. And she ain't in my house. If she outside, it's because she handling some business. And that ain't to say that I don't never like going nowhere. It's just no, like, I go I go places sometimes, but I just don't go to like those places that I was in. Like you at Camp South every Saturday? But yeah. Only reason why I was at Camp South every Saturday because I fucking right there. But now, no to my own Saturdays. Oh, come on, deal. Oh. But now it's like I haven't fucking been to a Camp South. Since I stopped working at fucking camp time. It's okay <laughs> to go out. Nobody, no, it's, it's, not nothing wrong, it's, it's nothing not wrong okay. with it's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's okay to go out. Where it is that we're talking about is when you're when you wake up the next day and you're back in your life, your real life. It's like you're running away from your real life just for a temporary little fix for a little bit of time. Let's just fix our real life so we can just continue to live our little fantasy life all the time. That's that's my look on it. Like, okay, when you get drunk, you get high, whatever the case is, you ultimately escaping from whatever your reality is. Not like Snoop Dogg them, because y'all always get high. So I ain't talking about y'all. I'm saying like the regular people. So when you high as Cooper Brown or you drunk and you out every weekend, this that third, you still have to go back to your regular life. So why not you just gonna have the same problems in your regular right. life? So why not just sit? Let's just focus on our regular life. Like I told somebody, I was real close with at one point in time. I was like, you live in this fantasy fake life on social media when you could just really get your shit together in real life and really live that life. You doing all this, fixing yourself, buying a new outfit, this, that, and the third, so you can look like you living the life on Instagram. When you can really just get your shit together and really live that life in real life. You don't upload on social media because you ain't fresh. When you ain't this and you ain't that. But you that's not your real life. When I said that, he had, you know, had a problem with it. And, you know, we obviously we got into it, this, that, and third. But I was like, oh, I can't, I can't do this. I can't not do this. I have to fall off the face of the earth and let me just channel into my inner self. Now... I'm not, I'm not gonna fall on the face of earth. When I'm going through something, I still be on here with y'all. I still be kiki and ha and all that. And I really be talking about shit I be going through. <laughs> like, and y'all just think I just be on this motherfucker talking. No, I really be talking about real life shit I be going through. But instead of hiding it from the world, now I just put it out there because it's other people that's going through the same thing. Just like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hey, person. Nice you can learn from anybody. Anybody can teach you anything, whether it's good to learn. or bad. You gonna learn something from a motherfucker. Yeah, you willing to learn? One of these days, something like I don't waste my time with people. I don't waste my time with people who always just do this. You always talking. You always talking. You always talking. And you never do what it is that you say you're gonna do. 
Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, last year you said you was gonna woo woo woo. What happened? Mm-hmm. Oh this, oh that, oh this, oh that. Da, 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 da. Like, no. So I don't waste my time. I don't waste my energy. Like, I don't. I don't have friends. I want friends. It's not like I don't want friends. Like, who wouldn't want a friend? But I just haven't come across people who. First of all, just because a woman is doing her thing and she up and she did that third, don't mean that y'all gonna click. That's first and foremost. I seen that for self. Some people are really, I got my set of friends, I got my friends and that's it. I'm not looking for new friends. A lot of women are like that. So if people be like, why you ain't got no friends? It's, not, it's hard to make female friends. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's easy to make female acquaintances. Acquaintances? Yeah. Acquaintances? Whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's easy to make, talk to those kind of people. Like we see you in past saying, oh, what's up? Hey, honey, how you doing? We have a little conversation while we're there. It's easy to make those kind of relationships. But a real friend, real friends are hard to come by. Like, so when you do real. come across one, hold that motherfucker in the clutch and so let them go. Where is Jean when you put it hard to come by? Put it on your clothes so they can't go no more. Yeah, I put that your clothes more. People, she did. <laughs> she was like, have anybody ever put you in your clothes? And she was like, mama. <laughs> okay, maybe not the mama. Because <laughs> I think I was talking shit to her. She was like, you talk too much shit. But yeah, now y'all, that's a little bit. Ooh, we had to settle this down a little bit so we can y'all can really get to know us, the people behind all the jokes and shit. Now y'all know a little bit more about Smooch. I be like, when I be saying Smooch, like I be pointing at myself. That's Smooch, Smooch, and Her name's Sharika. That's her real name. So since we're being personal. I just want that channel next. And then it's just what to be. Who asked you that? Nobody asked you I that. I thought it was being, um, yeah, no? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, well, that's that. I already did it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, season three is going to be lit. We're going to have a lot of fun in season three. We got a lot um, in store for y'all. So make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Like is really important for our algorithm, okay? And I did say that. Because y'all be watching these videos. Y'all got to hit the like button. So YouTube can suggest it suggest it to other people who may like the content too. So y'all got to make sure y'all like it so it can throw us in the algorithm. Like it. Like yeah. it. And it's going to put us in the algorithm so then more people are going to be able to see our content. And y'all help us. We helping y'all. Because y'all, come on now. Y'all done crack some little jokey joke laugh a little bit with us. Come on now. Stop playing. All this. And we look good. Come on now. Damn, I've been working out. You see that? Go look at them old videos. Y'all, come on, bro. Y'all been seeing. Y'all see that for I've already been doing my thing over here because I was looking at the videos. Like, she, was, she was over here uh, losing weight. And I was over here gaining weight. I had like But even weight. her little gain weight still don't look like. It just, honestly, she I just look like a box of Jiffy cornbread. I gained 10 pounds. Cookie. Like, she looks like, it's just, her butt is just really, is getting really big. It's like really, really big. And I'm trying to lose some weight because I'm like. Because she don't like her butt really, really big. Like, who don't want her really, really And then I did. Look. Oh, you getting the hang time? Mm-hmm. Look. That's that mama I love. I know how to cook arms. If your girl ain't got them. You see that? I don't like that. And she know how to cook. Girl, I fuck with you. Because <laughs> the girls who be knowing how to cook, you have to arms. <laughs> no, how about somebody was sitting there playing with it? I'm like, you like the way that feels? Like, yeah, it's like so jiggly, jiggly, just so I like it. No, I don't like it, so you can stop touching it. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna wrap. We gonna wrap this up and let this letter fly because I gotta go to get my pie in da, 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 da. I'll be rapping like, ah, oh my. No, okay. I ain't gonna get a record there. You ain't gonna get no record there with that weak ass shit. <sighs> okay, well. Good thing I got a podcast deal. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. Let him know. Let him know. Um, y'all already know who I am. She well, phew, the people don't know. That's sure right. good. She had she not already said my real name. It's Smooch true. underscore X and this is Shatera. And her Instagram name is underscore honey H U N N I I Shatera. That's her. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> yeah, I do that. 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 Yeah, I
You ain't have to put my business out there like that. But since she already told y'all, I am Shatira. Yeah, the most hated. Yeah. Uh huh. They did hate me. Every job I had, they hated me. They can't stand me. I, just, I, I wonder why. Because you know how you got them people that you make my job harder when you don't do your job? They was the people who's making my job harder. So now I got to make you do your job. So yeah, they didn't like me for that. But anyways, I don't work there no more. So shout out to y'all. And we got to we out. See you guys on the next go around. And y'all see this fucking way. Stop playing. Y'all see that? It ain't even second to me. Yeah. Um. Because <laughs> y'all know how it used to be. Girl. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>